Blockchain technology is amazing, and in fact, it's one of the most awesome innovation in recent years. However, the issues associated with it, public blockchains are freely transparent because it provides anonymity rather than anonymity. Meaning, if someone have your wallet address, they'll be able to see everything on the blockchain ledger. Now, the problem is most of us we want privacy. We certainly don't want anyone in the blockchain to know all of our transactions. It's just not comfortable. Luckily, privacy. Coin solve all these issues by obscuring transaction addresses and amounts. So if you want to use cryptocurrency but at the same time maintain some level of privacy, be sure to stick around and watch the video till the very end. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie. If you're new here and you like cryptocurrency, make sure you subscribe to this channel and remember to hit that notification bell so you will get notified whenever I post new videos. Privacy coins are one of the largest and most controversial classes of cryptocurrencies today. They promote greater financial freedom than traditional electronic payment methods or non-private digital assets like Bitcoin. Simply put, it is a type of cryptocurrency that allows the user to gain total anonymity when making blockchain transactions. Privacy coin tends to hide data about its users or in short, it hides identities. Apart from just identity, this coin also hides the amount of cryptocurrency trade and held in wallet. Zcash and Monero are two of the most popular privacy coins. There are dozens more but we won't be able to go through all of them. So in this video, I'll be just comparing the two. I know you're probably asking yourself why Bitcoin is not ranked as being among them since it is the leading cryptocurrency after all. The reason why Bitcoin has never been ranked as a privacy coin is because Bitcoin users are always identified by their public addresses, which also means if someone have your public address, they will be able to see all of your transactions, no matter when and no matter how much the amount is. So here comes in privacy coins. To begin with, Sat Cash is a decentralized and open source cryptocurrency that offers privacy and selective transparency on transactions. Launched in 2016, Sat Cash is an other top privacy coin that is a fork of Bitcoin, headed by Electric Coin Company, the crypto uses proof of work mechanism to confirm transactions. On the other hand, Monero launched in 2014 is considered by many to be the best anonymous cryptocurrency in the market as it uses a powerful suite of privacy features such as stealth addresses, ring signatures and ring CT to promote comprehensive anonymity. With stealth addresses, the protocol essentially creates one-time addresses for receiving funds and concealing the receiver's identity. With ring signatures, the network automatically select a group of transaction signers known as the ring. Together, the signers create a single transaction using the genuine output from the actual transaction and a selection of previous transaction outputs. Only one of the transactions is the real one, but there is no way of telling which it is from outside the ring. With ring CT, it helps hide the amount of crypto being sent in transactions. They represent a privacy improvement over ring signatures because the original ring signature implementation still exposed the amount being transacted to the rest of the network. In fact, Monero's privacy is so exceptional that the IRS had to put a bounty of roughly $625,000 for anyone who could crack its anonymity technology. Its key differentiator is its ability to allow users to send and receive transactions without making this data available to anyone examining its blockchains. While Zcash and Joy Media fanfare and backing from venture capitalists, Monero's origins are more comparable to Bitcoins involving a small online tech community that grew quietly over time as the project gained credibility and market share. Apart from its privacy characteristic, Monero has also differentiated in other areas as well. Just to give you an example, Monero's software is programmed to update every six months. A regular schedule has helped it more aggressively add more features without much controversy. When it comes to privacy, there's a huge difference between Monero and Set Cash. 100% of Monero transactions are anonymous, which means the transactions on Monero have always been private and always will be. For Set Cash, it gives users the option to send a normal transaction or a shielded transaction. In fact, only about 6% of transactions on Set Cash networks are fully shielded, and 15% are partially shielded. Well, the way I view this is that it could draw unnecessary attention because imagine. Imagine that 
that you're a regular set cash user. You've always sent your transactions publicly, but suddenly one particular transaction is sent privately. So if someone's tried to examine your transaction, the very first transaction that they will examine is definitely going to be that particular private transaction. However, for Monero, all transactions are private, which means they don't stand out as much because Monero has a larger anonymity set, which also means a greater privacy level. In terms of funding models, Monero relies mostly on volunteer developers as well as donation to fund up its ongoing development. Monero also receives its funding from the community crowdfunding system. On the other hand, Set Cash has a very different strategy whereby mining effectively funds the coin's development budget. Under the Set Cash mining model, only 80% of the set cash mined in each block actually goes to the miners. So proceeding with the 20%, 15% usually goes to a group of founders and early investors. Lastly, the remaining 5% of block reward goes toward funding developers to improve the set cash blockchain. It therefore goes without saying that the 15% of block rewards to the founders has always been controversial and therefore turns some people away from set cash project. For token that launch at over $2,000, Set Cash has been rather disappointing for a while now. You notice that when it entered the market, investors were very excited about it and it showed value by that time. For some moments in October 2016, it was the most valuable cryptocurrency. Whether it will reach those heights again has remained to be very questionable, but even in the current run, it hasn't really been showing any higher rising rates. Its counterpart, Monero, has been experiencing a high higher rate of growth and it looks very promising overall. All right guys, that's all I want to say in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video to the very end. Of course, none of these are financial advice, but do let me know which privacy coin you prefer or do you use them at all? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. If this video has been interesting to you, do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.